Hello and welcome to Loch Lomond Leisure. Today we're going to be doing the introduction to stand up paddle boarding. First of all, you want to make sure you're wearing your buoyancy aid and it's nice and tight. You want to make sure you've got all the buckles tightened up. If you want, you can adjust it here and at the sides. You want to make sure it's tight enough that if you fall in the water, it's not going to pop up over your head and pop off, but it's not too tight that it restricts your breathing. Okay, so this is your stand up paddle board. Um, it's got a fin at the back, at the bottom. Um, that's for stability and directional control. It's got an ankle leash here that's attached at the back. And then you want to attach this to your ankle. So if you do fall off, the board's not going to fly away and leave you in the water. Um, you've also got this central handle here. And that's roughly the centre point of the board. And it should be the centre point of balance. So it'll be where you want to be when you're on the board. This is your paddle. It's completely adjustable for every height. What you want to do is just push this area out here and then it extends. When you're in the water, you want it to be so that the paddle is completely in the water with you at a nice easy height for holding it. When you're on land, it wants to be roughly above your head with a slight bend in your arm but not totally stretched out. You want to be holding over the handle like this so you've got a nice solid grip and then on the blade end, you've got a curve and you want the curve to be facing away from you. Okay, so when you're paddling, you want to keep it in vertical, close to the side of the boat. And that means you're going to go nice and straight. So if you want to turn, put in a nice wider stroke out to one side and that'll turn you. Obviously, if you are just paddling on one side, you're going to just go around in circles eventually. So you can either switch hands and paddle on the other side as well. Or when you get to the back of your stroke, turn the paddle slightly and use it as a rudder to keep yourself on track. Cool, so now we're on to the paddle boarding. You want to walk into the water until you're about knee deep so you've got a nice depth of water to get into, so you don't bang the fin onto anything at the bottom. You want to make sure you're around the central handle that we talked about before, and then just hop onto it with your knees and find a nice balanced position with your knees equidistant around that handle. Take a few moments just to paddle a bit like this and get used to the paddling and the balance of the board. When you're ready to stand up, you want to put your paddle at the front of the ribbed section of the board, just here, walk your knees up towards it and then rock back onto your feet. You want to make sure that you're a nice even distance apart on the board with a lower centre of gravity so you're not standing up tall like a tree trunk. You want to be nice and balanced and nice and safe on the board. From there, just take it easy. Cool. So if you do find yourself falling off the board when you're paddling on it, firstly, you've got your ankle leash like I mentioned earlier, so you're still attached to the board so it's not going to go anywhere. So just take a wee second, make sure you've still got your paddle and just relax. Your buoyancy is going to keep you afloat. Then you want to make sure you grab onto the other side of the board and just pull yourself across it nice and easily. There is a chance that the board's upside down, but it is just made of air. So you'll be able to flip it over. No problem at all. So when you get back on the board, just start on your knees again, paddle around. And then if you're comfortable standing up again, go from there. As with all our activities, please take care on the water with regards to wind and other water users and be aware of how that may affect you. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask any of our friendly staff before you set off.